Good afternoon and welcome to The Balance of Life. I am Pastor Angel Ferguson and I thank you so very much for joining us today. This is the day that the Lord has made. I'm so excited about what we're going to share with you on today. Our word for today is bread for today. <laughs> That's right. Bread for today. Well, this morning, let me tell you something. When I got up, I was reviewing my yesterday evening and once again uh, I always say thank you to those who were led to join us for Bible study with Faith Outreach Deliverance Church Bridgeton New Jersey and uh, we were talking about the law of giving but prior to heading for Bible study I began to pray and you know just asking the Holy Spirit to lead and guide me because I am one who does the majority of the teaching for Wednesday night Bible study their apostle and pastor does it you know as well but I am uh, and, and so I begin to pray and I'm ha having a transparent moment with you because I believe that the Holy Spirit is is reminding me that for each task that we do we need the anointing for it and so uh, before coming on the air on yesterday and doing some work and afterwards I thought I was going to get to take a nap but uh, it came to me like okay you have something else to do so I work till 530 normally I, I stop working at 3 o'clock on Wednesdays and so as I was just praying and meditating and, and going over some conversations and and I said, you know what? I know it was the Holy Spirit. I need the anointing for every aspect of my life. I need an anointing, the Holy Spirit. I need the, the the anointing that I used yesterday for radio, that was for radio. That was for that teaching moment. That was for my listening audience. Now I was uh, preparing to go to the church where I uh, have been the assistant pastor and next month will be four years. And the Holy Spirit was saying to me, okay, that anointing that you utilized earlier, and this was yesterday for, for radio, that was for them. That was that anointing for them. You need the anointing now to go and teach. And so I began to pray and ask the Holy Spirit to give me the anointing to teach to that audience. I think that sometimes we need to be reminded and I don't mind having transparent moments with you. I don't have tra have I don't mind having transparent moments when I am at the roster and and teaching and preaching. I don't mind because I believe it will help many. And so sometimes when we uh put on the appearance that we have everything dotted and crossed, we fool ourselves. Even the very elect who assume that they have everything all together at all times will fool themselves. And f so I, I, I'm, I'm not fooling myself. I have to rely on the Holy Spirit. It was the culmination of now you're about to go and teach at this audience. And we have to know our audiences. We have to know what we're stepping into, where we are, and I can't rely on an, uh, an anointing where I teach at another audience. It's different audiences at different levels. They're getting a different word. Although I might, sometimes I might share the same topic. I might even go to the same scripture text, but the Holy Spirit will give it to me at a different way to give to different audiences. And so even as I got up this morning, I said, Lord, I need daily bread. I need bread for today. I ate yesterday. I My Wednesdays are a double duty. 
I have radio for ministry and then teaching and if there is in between any consolations or uh, interceding a prayer but for the most part I say double duty it's on the teaching aspect because we are a teaching ministry and so this morning I said I need my daily bread I ate yesterday I was full you gave me something on yesterday but today is a whole new day I need something for today and I am reminded of two areas of scripture the first area I am reminded of is when during the Exodus and God instructed Moses to tell the people how to come out to get the manna how in the morning a portion would come down and in the evening and as I said on Wednesdays I do double duty and so I said oh God you're so good because you are reminding me that at times the children of Israel they had to come out in the morning what he released to them the manna and the quail but they had to come out and get it God provides we have to come out and get it and that's over in Exodus the 16th chapter quails and manna provided I'll start at the fourth verse 16 and 4 says then said the Lord unto Moses behold I will rain down bread from heaven for you so God did this for Moses and the people shall go out and gather a certain rate every day and I may that I may prove them whether they will walk in my law or not and it shall come to pass on the sixth day they shall prepare that which they bring in and it shall be twice as much as they gather daily I have to come out and get what I need daily and it is sufficient for that day when you're ministering the word we need the anointing for that audience once you pour out if you have another assignment for that day of teaching of ministry you need to be replenished and refilled so as I, I thought about that and I said, okay, my daily bread, I need that. Then I began to think about the apostles. How after the death of Jesus, how God would release unto them the Holy Spirit to do what they needed to do. As he would rise up one of them before the council and they could speak before an audience so one example I have is over in Acts the third chapter Peter speaks filled with the Holy Spirit It's Acts the third chapter beginning uh, let's see on the fifth verse it says and it came to pass on the morrow that their rulers and elders and scribes and Ananias the high priest and Caiaphas and John and Alexander and as many as were of the kindred of the high priest were gathered together at Jerusalem and when they had set them in the midst they asked by what power or by what name have ye done this verse 8 says then Peter filled with the Holy Ghost said unto them ye rulers of the people and elders of Jer Jerusalem and so he was filled with the Holy Ghost he had to be filled it says if we this day be examined of the good deed none done to the impotent man by what means is he made whole so I wanted to get to the to the portion of that before he began to speak to that audience he was filled with the Holy Ghost you and I have to be filled with the Holy Ghost in order to do what it is we are called to do assignment by assignment once again 
all depends on how many times you minister per day. If you minister on Wednesday, Bible study, you need to, after you finish pouring out, after you finish being uh, giving out, you need to be replenished. You need to be restored for the next assignment. Uh, we cannot go on the same anointing, the same power per assignment. Um, it's a new assignment. I know sometimes we get into the, uh, I don't want to say the mundane, I don't want to say the ritual. It's our assignment, okay? That's your assignment to teach every Wednesday. Or if you have a prayer line, you have a prayer line, you do it certain times a day once a week however you do it each time you do it we need to be filled with a refreshing a renewal of the Holy Spirit for that particular assignment never try to cover carry over your oil uh, in other words I have this one assignment uh, and you think that okay I have another assignment Oh, that previous assignment, the the anointing was was full and on me, and it was heavy on me, and 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 assume that it is at the same level for your next assignment. Each time we have an assignment, I call them assignments because anytime we stand before the people to give the word of God and whatever capacity it is, capacity it may be, it could be. Uh, radio it could be television ministry it could be uh sunday morning wednesday evening uh friday night uh special occasion revival all of those are assignments anytime we step up to the plate to give a word to share the gospel of jesus christ no matter if it's the same audience each and every time it is still a new and fresh assignment and we cannot use old oil. Mm -mm. Be refreshed, be replenished, be renewed for that assignment. Another <clears throat> example is Stephen over in Acts 6 and 8. It says, And Stephen, full of faith and power, did great wonders and miracles among the people. Then there arose certain of the synagogue, which is called the synagogue of the Lepterians and Cyrenians and Alexandrians, and of them of Sicily and Asia, disputing with Stephen. And they were not able to resist the wisdom and the spirit by which he spake. Then they subdorned men, which said, We have heard him speak blasphemous words against Moses and against God. I wanted to read the portion of listen he did this with faith and power he could not do it in his own flesh so when I got up this morning I said Lord I need daily bread I need bread for today mm -hmm. I need to eat for today I need you to replenish me I need you to restore me I need it I don't know about you um, but it's how I survive spiritually it helps me do what it is I need to do daily uh, when I think about the daily bread I'm th I'm thinking about wisdom knowledge and understanding I'm thinking about counsel I'm thinking about revelation from the Holy Spirit I'm thinking about being refreshed and renewed because I pour it out yesterday God truly said to Moses I will provide for the people every single day to prove them I want to see if they'll keep my law I want to see if they'll keep my way I want to see if they will be obedient to me by following my guidelines by following my instructions I will provide for you every single day but you must come out every single day and get what you need now 
for those who were disobedient. It's in scripture. For those who were disobedient during that time and on the days that they were supposed to get a single portion according to their household to sustain them for that day, for those who were greedy and got a double portion, it wasn't the day to get a double portion, but they did not follow the instructions. What they tried to hold over turned rotten and it had worms in it and it stank. Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying to me, I'm saying and I'm sharing with you, your oil for today pour it all out mm -hmm. he'll give you some more don't hold back on the oil upon your life God will provide oil for every day to sustain you God will provide food spiritual food every day to sustain you there are going to be those times that you have to double up <laughs> mm -hmm. that is where prayer and fasting comes in building up your faith but when it comes to an assignment you have an assignment pour it all out mm -hmm. pour it all out would you holding back any of it for if God has given an assignment and you are to do the will and work of God. Do the will and work of God. Don't hold back. Give it as you have been instructed to give. Release it as you have been instructed to release. God is good. And he is worthy to be praised if you're just tuning in you're tuning into the balance of life i am pastor angel ferguson i thank you so very much for joining us today because this is the day that the lord has made listen i am rejoicing i am glad in it i'm going to share with you now a prayer that i shared today connected to this daily bread because we we need it uh like i said I, I don't know about you but i need god it says father god we give you thanks for this new day you are full of grace and mercy you have proven your love for us by giving your son to be our lord and savior and he has proven his love by giving us his life but before he departed jesus made a request that as we would love you and keep your commandments, that you would release unto us the Holy Spirit. Father, we have kept your commandments to the best of our knowledge and ability. Yet as you look at our hearts, if you find anything that is not pleasing in your sight, please reveal it to us that we may repent and ask for guidance in making the correction. We come today, Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, asking our portion of daily bread. As with the children of Israel, you provided a portion for them daily, and, a, and on some days, a double portion. Feed us from on high, Father God, for we need guidance instructions, directions, counsel, a refilling of the Holy Spirit for this day alone. Yesterday is gone, and so, listen, yesterday is gone, and we have used what we had yesterday. Some of us didn't get a double portion yesterday. Some of us got a single portion. So we're here today. We know that you've already provided, but we have come to you for it. We've come to you for what we need, Father God. We're here. I'm here for what God has for me. I'm not talking about the materialistic things. 
I'm here for the spiritual things that he has for me. I need a daily bread. I need it. I need it so that I could come and share with the different areas of ministry that he has given unto me. I need daily bread. I need it to work in the area that he has given me. Yes, I work for myself. But God gave me the gifts and talents to do it. I can't do anything without him. I need guidance. I need godly counsel. I need instructions. I need the power of the Holy Spirit because that is what destroys the yokes. That is what is going to help me do what I have been called to do. And so I am here, Father God, in the name of Jesus. I'm here. I'm here to get my portion let that be your desire that you show up to get your portion from God show up to get what he has already provided for you don't be afraid to show up to get what you need from God in the mighty name of Jesus oh God I thank you and I bless your holy name glory be to God you know what I got to type that out don't be afraid to show up to get what God has for you daily oh God we need it in the name of Jesus we need our daily bread we need it. My God. If you're just tuning in, you're tuning in to the Balance of Life. I'm Pastor Angel Ferguson. Don't forget that we do have some things in store for you. One of the things that we want to give to you, our reading and listening audience, is a free subscription to Hope and Truth magazine. There is a six month or a one year subscription to hope and truth magazine all you have to do is email us today at the balance of life one at yahoo.com and say i would like a free digital subscription to hope and truth magazine we'll take care of the rest uh, free viewing of hope and truth magazine can be found on issue.com now if you would like a phys- physical copy which means you will receive a physical copy of Hope and Truth magazine in the mail. You can make your subscription through BlueDolphin.com, BarnesandNobles.com, or by contacting us directly. Our email address, once again, is the balance of life one at Yahoo.com. And today we're talking about daily bread. I need daily bread every day. Sometimes I think we take it for granted. And we don't and we don't take in the word of God every day. We don't go to God every day for what we need. We pick days. Mhm. We 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 put those days based upon when we go to service. Some Ministries only have service once a week, which is Sunday. Some have Sunday and Wednesday or on a Tuesday. Some have service on a Saturday. Or they have more services during the week or month based off of an occasion. But it is the hour. And I said this last night in Bible study. The hour. I'm not talking about the physical hour. I'm talking about the hour of time that we are to seek the Lord for our own soul salvation and and so you take the time out for yourself and get into the Word of God take in the Word of God every single day even if you take Sunday's message and you go back and you read whatever scripture text was given on that Sunday morning and you take that word in every single day 
That's what you do. But you take a portion in every day. Take in the word of God. Don't starve yourself. Don't neglect yourself. We don't starve and neglect ourselves from natural food and water or whatever beverages we drink. We take it in every day because we need it to survive. Yes, we have our times of fasting and fasting can be in any area. You could give up your favorite television show or time from social media, um, whatever it is, you can fast from it. And some go days without food and their time of fasting, but they take some kind of liquid in. We have to take something in every day. I'm going to say along with water, it's essential to the body. Take in the word. Get your daily bread. It's provided for us. Get your daily bread every single day. Get your daily bread. Get the word of God. Get what you need so that you can face that particular day. Remember, it's the anointing that destroys the yoke. So if I go out and I get what God has for me, how am I going to know what he has for me that day? I must communicate in prayer early in the morning. I don't need my daily bread at night. I need it at the height of the morning. I need it early in the morning. I need it to sustain me all day long. Mm Mm-hmm. I need the bread all day long, but I got to get up early and come get it. I I can't wait till 12 o'clock in the afternoon. I can't wait till 6 o'clock in the afternoon. I I, I can't wait. I need it. I need it early. Glory be to God. I need it bright and early in the morning when he is providing it for me. Glory be to God. And so that's what we all have to do. As I look at Exodus 16, it says, God gave orders to gather only enough for each day in order to teach the people that their daily existence depended exclusively on his gift. That's what I want to remind us about today. Get what you need on today. God is good. He's worthy to be praised. The instructions are there. I encourage you to read Exodus, the 16th chapter, talking about how God provided quail and manna for the people. He provided every day. He's providing for you and I every day. As I look at the 20th verse in that 16th chapter, it says, Notwithstanding, they hearken not unto Moses, but some of them left of it until the morning, and it bred worms and stank, and Moses was wrought with them. So it's important that we follow the instructions of God. Know when you have received a double portion. But I encourage you to get up every single day. Go to the Lord in prayer. Get what you need. Build up your faith. The anointing that you need is available to you and I. The guidance that you need, it's there. The instructions being replenished, being restored, being rejuvenated, it is all there for you and I. We have to get up and go and get it. I'm so grateful with humility. I am so grateful with rejoicing because I know that he loves me enough to chastise me. He loves me enough to rebuke me and to correct me to say, you know what? You need the anointing per assignment. Mm -hmm. And whatever task you do, when it comes to business, listen entrepreneurs pastors shepherds you need the anointing for that each and every time each and every time every time you come before the people 
and, and that's why Solomon said, teach me how to go in and come out. That's our time for today. I love you without measure. Have a blessed day.